In Contra Costa County, an in and out is open once again after being shut down for one day. The health department there says that it was not complying with the county's vaccine mandate. KPIX 5 reporter Katie Nielsen is live in San Ramon right now uh, to explain what's changed things. Katie? Yeah, Ken, so we're actually in the drive through line here at the location in San Ramon. Yes, at 11 p.m., there is still a line. The only options for burgers at any of the Contra Costa stores, either the drive through or to go. The drive through line snaked through the Pleasant Hill parking lot tonight. I'm a vegetarian, but <laughs> I'll do anything that I can to support businesses that are just standing up and saying this isn't right. This evening, demonstrators were out in front of the San Ramon location to show their support. Mad respect, mad props to them. I'll probably go out of my way to get a little more in and out uh, these coming weeks than I normally do. While in Pleasant Hill, the demonstration was a bit more musical. We're supporting all the people that have been negatively affected by this vaccine mandate. The showdown started earlier this month when the county health department received complaints that the Pleasant Hill location was not checking the vaccination status for people eating inside. After multiple citations, the county said enough and closed the restaurant yesterday. The company's response, quote, this is clear governmental overreach and is intrusive, improper and offensive. 24 hours later, all Contra Costa locations are open, but in an agreement reached with the health department, customers have to take their double doubles to go and the dining area is closed. If you have responsibility, especially if people gather less than six feet apart, no masks on, I just, again, that's just a recipe for disaster. Health department officials told me late tonight their main goals around the vaccine mandate are education and compliance. They say they have that compliance now that the dining rooms are closed, but that's probably also leading to more people in the drive-through lines. Live in San Ramon, Katie Nielsen, KPIX5.